everybody, welcome to our channel Life of Nine. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. You know, even before we put up a video, it really shows your support and we truly appreciate that. And we're doing this channel basically for you. And we love sharing what we know and we hope you guys enjoy that. So do you want to tell them what our channel is about? Yeah, we'll basically we'll be talking a lot about makeup and fashion and hairstyle, skincare, mostly about, you know, everything based on beauty, but uh, we also want to share a piece of our lifestyle with you too. Exactly. So because um, Nisha has a 10 month old daughter. Yes, so, so we are talking yeah. about early motherhood. I'm not an expert, but <laughs> you know, things that, you know, that maybe other moms will be able to relate. Um, so we'll be doing vlogs, we'll yeah. be doing hauls, we so many things. We will collaborate with other YouTubers, yes. other um, interesting people in Sri Lanka and of course as we go on. Um, yeah, we'll try to yeah, get some overseas. people from abroad yes, yeah. as well. So um, let's see what we have to offer you today. We'll be doing a mini tutorial featuring this Urban Decay um, full spectrum palette. Um, so we'll talk about that and show you exactly what we have in store for you. Yes. Okay, so this is the pad we are talking about. Um, yes, so this is what we've done for you today. We've come up with two different looks using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. Let me take on this palette and my take. Um, why this palette is such a great palette is Urban Decay is a great brand. I mean, they have a variety of lipsticks, you know, eye products, face products. It's an amazing uh, brand. And this palette was released, I think, last year? Yeah. Yeah, last year, maybe about six, six to eight, eight months. Yeah, yeah before. So, um, this is a very colorful palette, as you can see, and the name suggests it. So, that's the like that electric. Palette. Yeah, they released a smaller palette. Um, take it out for you guys. So it's like a cardboard box, box. Yeah. and the inside. Oh, oh my god, it is like so pretty. Yeah, Urban Decay does such amazing packaging, like even with their wise yeah. palettes yeah. like are so good like really good they spend a lot on packaging so that's what it looks like, like on the outside getting tongue twisted uh it's classic um it's like hard plastic yeah it's it's, it's it's luxurious actually yeah and it feels heavy not too heavy but um and then that's what it looks like. So you've got 21 shades and it's got like a range of all the colors basically. Yeah, it's like you get some matte Yeah, it's like it's mixed and they are placed like everywhere. It's not like all the shimmers are together and yeah. all the mattes are together. And I think the way they place the colors yeah, are like weird. Especially for people like me who have all seen the color arrangement. <laughs> IMG for it's all my national just because they were like yeah. definitely drawn the colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that side of it, but anyway. But yeah, I'm mostly when it comes to like sizes. Yeah. We'll do another video about yeah. that anyway. But this is like nice, like the way it's like a rainbow. So yeah, and the thing is you can come up with so many different looks yeah. like Netney's one is still out there, yeah. but you can definitely wear it, you know, for Quite Even a flashy like dress if you want. Like yes. Like, like those who don't or uh, who <laughs> are afraid to use colour. I know a lot of people are like, oh it's too bold yeah. and you know it's way out there. This is like a perfect look because it's still subtle but it's still losing colour and obviously for those who wanna go all out like you. this is <laughs> yes, like me. This is a really good palette because okay, let me just show you the yeah. kit. That yeah. is amazing. Like, it goes a long way. Yeah, and this is without primer. So this is my favorite color. What is it called? Calavera. So, <laughs> so I mean, if you're a true eyeshadow junkie, like us. Yes, we are eyeshadow <laughs> junkies. 
So this is a palette you should have because it's really good. You know, if you have all those neutral shades and this can be just that one palette that you have that has all the colors and exactly. So we've done like we said, tutorials. Yes. So you know, feel free to have a look and yes. do try them. Try the looks out, and you know, you can tag us. Um, comment below. You know what yeah, you think about these looks, looks. and so, enjoy the tutorial. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check the tutorials. So I'm going to start this look by applying the eyeshadow primer and I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This one is great for medium to like light skin tones and I'm applying this with my finger and blending it all over the eyelid. Next I'm taking this shade called Bump with a MAC 217 brush and just applying this all over the lips just to sort of set that primer so that everything will blend on top of that pretty easily. Now I'm taking the same blending brush and applying this shade called Calavera on the crease. Um, this is going to be the only transition shade for this look and I'm just applying this like a windshield motion back and forth, adding more colour as I go. Just the shade Calavera and I really like this colour, this is a matte yellow shade. Now I'm taking this shade called Midnight Blaze with the same brush and creating a sort of a V shape at the outer corner of the eye and blending it towards the center. Um, at this point, I'm keeping it a little bit subtle and the same shade I'm going to apply with the same blending brush on the inner corner as well and pushing it again towards the center of the lid. Keeping the center a little bit free at this point. And I'm switching the brush to MAC 219 pencil brush and taking this shade called Platonic, which is more of a black shimmery shade with no gold shimmer, like unlike the um, Midnight Blaze shade, just intensifying that those two corners, the outer and inner, and just as you can see, I'm just um, bridging those two corners in a soft cut crease. This is not a very neat cut crease; it's not supposed to be. I'm taking this shade um, Calavera again with 217 brush, just patting this on the center of the lid and adding more pigment as I go. Again, going with 219 brush from MAC, intensifying that outer corner one more time before I drag it down the lower lash line. I'm taking this shade called C's and applying this on the inner corner, just like you can see right now. It's a nice, beautiful pink shade. And then I'm taking Gossip and Delirious, two shades. Those are like Fuchsia and Deep Purple and applying this on the outer corners of the lower lash line. Next I'm taking this Elf Call Pencil in black and applying this on the waterline so that it's um, not too intense actually. I want that pink and purple to show through. So I'm just applying it lightly on the lower lash line. Next I'm taking this very generic liquid eyeliner I picked from the drugstore. Just use any liquid eyeliner for this look and this one is really matte and jet black so I really like this one and I'm creating a baby wing um, just like how I would apply on an everyday basis. Now I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara. This one is hands down the best mascara ever. Um, this is so worth the splurge so if you can definitely buy this one because it's super worth it. I'm applying this on both top and bottom lashes. Now I'm taking this pressed eyeshadow called Space Cowboy from Urban Decay and just putting this on the center of the lid with my finger. This is actually a step that you should do before you do your eyeliner and mascara to avoid any mess but I actually forgot to do that so I'm just gonna do it now. And now I'm taking this glitter liner again from Urban Decay. This one is called Midnight Cowboy and I'm creating a baby wing under the jet black eyeliner I put just at the outer corner and again dotting a tiny dot well dotting a tiny dot at the inner corners as well just to give it a little bit of a glitzy glam so this is the complete look you guys so here i'm gonna start off 
off by first applying an eyeshadow primer and my favorite one to use is the MAC Soft Ochre. So cover your entire eyelid with the primer and I'm using a Real Techniques brush just to blend that out nicely. So once I've got the primer on, I'm going in with the color sketch which is a nice purple shade. Uh, it's like the middle color of the three purples in the palette and blending that in with a blending brush. Adding more to increase the pigmentation. And then I'm going in with C's to just transition that into my brow bone. It just a little goes a long way. I'm then taking uh, the 239 flat shader brush by MAC and going in with the color Blindsided which is a bright blue color. It's a beautiful shade, just packing that on because I want it to be really bright. Make sure it's nice and saturated like the whole lid is covered. And then going in again with my blending brush just to sort of smooth that out and create a transition between the blue and the purple. So I'm going back in with sketch, blending that in and adding a little bit more to intensify that. So I'm going in with a pencil brush and the color Hatter, putting it on my lower lash line from the inner corners to the middle of the lower lash line. Blending that in a bit and then going in with a navy blue shade which is the color mix to the outer corners of the lower lash line. I'm lining my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 by Pencil. It's like a turquoise color. Just going over two, three times and then blending the lower lash line with the color seeds. And now on to liner. My most favorite liner in the world is the Ink Rod number 77. It's the most blackest, <laughs> if that's a word, uh, liner on the market. And just taking a liner brush and bringing that out. I like my liner quite thick. So just going over it a couple of times till I'm happy with the size of the liner. Onto mascara, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes, which is an amazing mascara. Putting it on my lower lashes and also curling my top lashes before I go into the color mascara. And curling does a lot to the lashes. It opens up the eye, makes your lashes look longer and all the more better. And I'm applying uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, So Hollywood Illuminator liquid in the corners before I go in with this grayish turquoise liner, which is literally just to make it all sparkle. I finished off the eye look by applying some falsies. Falsies make it better and more grand and glam, of course. So everyone, that was our tutorials, you know, the two different looks, we hope you enjoyed it. Do recreate it if you can or if you want to and if you do, please tag us on our Instagram, both our pages and the brushes we use, everything. all social media, all that information is in the info box, check that out and, and let us know media. how you liked it, yes, what you didn't amazing. like. In the comments below. Yeah, and what else you'd like to see in the future? Yes. Uh, we like to um, listen to you guys and just give you what you'd like to see on our channel. Exactly. And um, if you enjoyed our video, just give us a big thumbs up. Yes, please. That means a lot to us. Yes. And we truly appreciate that again. Yes. <laughs> and and don't forget to subscribe. Yes, subscribe. <laughs> Videos come out every Tuesdays. And we shall see you again next week. Bye.